Let's talk about the scapegoat dynamics and autoimmune conditions. I came from a family of dynamics where if you didn't perform, if you didn't get married, if you didn't follow the agenda of the culture, you were automatically a disgrace to the world. And unfortunately, with autoimmune conditions, it makes it three to four times harder to be able to do any of those things. So I had learning disabilities growing up. I struggled through school. I barely got into college. Every day I was sick and it wasn't something that was up to me. It was in my genes. And I grew up in a dynamic where I was constantly the blame, the shame, and always the finger was pointed at me for everything. I would get sick. Hey, why are you not eating right? Why are you taking care of yourself? Why are you not eating the right things? That's why you're getting sick. Or it's your bad karma. That's why you're getting sick. And here I am, a child struggling with autoimmune conditions. I had a sister who was that golden child obedient, became a healthcare professional, and she grew up with everyone supporting her. And no one supported me because they didn't understand my struggle. And on top of that, this gave my sister an advantage to get everyone manipulated in a way that they turn against me so she can inherit everything after my father had passed. And so, you know, before when my father was alive and before I was disinherited, she would automatically create this scenario in people's minds that she was the good one, that she was the one that was following the agenda, did everything she was told, she took care of people, but in the inside, she was a manipulative master and she got everyone to turn against me, including my own mother to believe that I was not her daughter. And growing up in this dynamic where my mom had a mental illness, she suffered from psychosis and schizophrenia. She was easily manipulated, too far gone to even understand what it takes to be there for a daughter, to be involved in her life. So as a scapegoat child, as the black sheep, I left that dynamic it was too toxic for me and they didn't take the time to love me or understand me or nourish me and yes with autoimmune conditions your behaviors can be out of hand and i realized this as i was growing up my behaviors were emotionally turbulent i was emotionally unstable because of this illness and as i grew up i would have these emotional outbursts where I, if i didn't know how to process something i would just burst out and get upset and i didn't know how to control my emotions there was so much chaos in my life that I eventually had to master peace. However, I realized that these dynamics actually create the autoimmune condition. And you're living through the narcissistic abuse, attracting people who are not good for you, that expect too much from you, that don't understand you, and you're there giving yourself away to get this external validation. And on top of that, you're suffering in silence with these conditions that are not exactly serving you. And then you just want to fit in. So yes, I'll eat whatever you eat. I'll go wherever you go. And when you're part of the, this sort of dynamic, you realize that you're alone a lot. And when you're alone a lot, you don't have anyone to speak to. So then you have to kind of put yourself out there and use all this effort and not to feel isolated with your symptoms. You have to do so much to get the attention of others and no one really understands you. And when you need them the most, they will not be around. And when you try to share your illness with them, they'll say you're lazy, it's all in your head, you don't know what you're talking about, it's normal to go through these things and it's not normal. So one thing I did learn in this dynamic was that leaving this toxic environment was the best thing for my health because there were people here that 
truly did not nourish and love me. I had to go. And doing that and facing that adversity and that setback, I just stayed with myself. I nourished myself. I reparented myself. And I realized that there were so many things that could make me happy. I had to find out what those things were and how I can best use those things to be happy from within. And then when I'm happy from within, I can co-create. I can be the creator of my family, my new family. And I can invite all these people who have been suffering just like me and help them in a big way. And that's exactly what I did. And that's why I'm doing this Make Me Visible movement. And I want you to be a part of it because we deserve to be accepted and acknowledged in a world that doesn't understand us. And for our health, we should never have to compromise our health further in order to fit in. So get started today. I'll see you. I want to hear your story. And I look forward to hearing about this video. Talk soon.